everyone, it's Lovestar. Welcome back to my Fairy Core Let's Play. Today, I am going to read you guys something. As you know, last episode, we went to the Feywild, and I was completely confused on what the hell I was doing in there. But I was checking the Curse Forge page for the mod, and I found a little excerpt from the page, and I wanted- Oh, oh, <laughs> I disappeared. I wanted to read you guys what it said, just so you can get a little bit of context. So, ancient scholars and theorists believe that the Feywild was born from the manifested dreams of the natural world. A dream bore endless paradise and splendid nightmares. Many wayward visages took the fantasy of the land and bent to their wills, creating domains and courts that would influence the reality of mortals. Cast in eternal twilight, the plain is filled with magic and reign supreme. Art, song, and words hold sway to the laws of the plain of fairy, an echo to the creation of the multiverse from the words of creation. From enchanted forests, awe-inspiring mountains, rolling plains of splendor, resplendent frozen lands, and steadfast seas, the Fey denizens shall make their homes. So, that is what is listed on the official curse- oh my god. <laughs> this chair is full of surprises. Anyway, that is what is officially listed on the Curse Forge page. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit hard to understand. I don't really think it gives that much information, but I thought it was a cool read, so I wanted to do, um, just show it to you guys. Oh, hi, Manjikora. I can't, I can't even get in there. So, yeah, I just wanted to read that to you guys so you get a little bit of context to the Feywild. I'm still figuring out the mod. I did look into it, but I, um, there's not really much about the um, Feywild dimension itself. I am going to read you guys another part in a second, but first, you might notice that the textures of the Feywild stuff look a little bit more pixely, and that's because I actually installed the 16x16 resource pack that they have, so it matches a little bit better because, you know, all the other textures are 16x16, so I thought that I would just, you know, include that. So, let me also read you guys what it says about, um, each dimension. So I'm going to tell you guys about the biomes. The Blossoming Wields is the home of the Spring Court. It's filled with many spring flowers, including giant dandelions, which we found. The Golden Sealy Fields are the home of the Summer Fae. It's rich with summer flowers and giant sunflowers. The area houses many bees. Eternal Fall, where the autumn lasts forever. There are many mushrooms and the ground is covered in leaves that fall from the trees. The Eternal Fall is home of the Autumn Court. And lastly, the frozen retreat is the home of the winter court. The lakes are frozen and the land is covered with ice spikes. The dead are more present in this biome. So that is all of the information- oh my god. <laughs> that we get about the Feywild, basically. So I don't really believe there's much going on in the dimension itself as of yet. I feel like it's still being developed. Um, they actually- so before 1.19 Feywild came out, um, there was a- the, the Feywild dimension didn't exist. It was actually the Feywild biomes spawned in the overworld. So they did a pretty big rehaul of how the mod works, and I'm assuming that's why the Feywild dimension is a little bit, you know, empty right now. Don't- don't escape. Where are all my chickens? I feel like I had way more chickens. I'm gonna breed them. So I, yeah, I'm not surprised that there's not that much content just yet, but I really, despite that, first of all, I really want to complete the quest line so we can get the fairy wings. We need those fairy wings for our fairy core world, like that is just a must. So we're going to keep um, doing the quest with uh, Icy. And I also want to go back to the Feywild today um, to find the winter biome because that's the last biome I think that I didn't find. So I really want to check it out and find the crocuses or whatever they're called so we can add that to our little collection. And I'm really excited to do that. So um, before we do that, I actually got a really good suggestion from um, um, a viewer. So they said to make a feed bag, which of course I misspelled that. Um, okay, here, here it is. Feed bag for the inventory pets. So... Apparently this is where you can keep all the food and they will just- the pets will eat directly from this, which will be super handy. So I'm gonna actually take one of my diamonds and use it for this because that would be really awesome. So, let's see, we need um, a chest. Do I have any? I feel like I do. No. Okay, let me make a chest. 
And what was it? I already forgot. Um, oh, leather and string. Okay. We should have plenty of that, considering how many freaking cows we kill. Oh my goodness. <sighs> my, I'm just such, such an animal killer. Not good. Not good, guys. <laughs> okay. So here's our feed bag. And I'm assuming we can just put the food in here. So I actually have all my food <laughs> in my backpack. So this is going to be really great because I think this just takes up so much space. And it's actually going to be really nice to clear up our our storage a little bit here. So I think that's all the food. Was emeralds? No, emeralds wasn't one of them. Um, Yeah, I think that's all the food that I have. So the feathers are super important. I really got to start breeding my chickens, guys, because I need a lot of feathers for my quiver pet. That is, like, probably one of the most important, um, one of the most important, uh, what's it called? Pets. Yeah, one of the most important pets for me. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna try to make some fodder and see if we can have the chickens breed with fodder. I didn't ever try that with chickens, but I'm sure it'll work. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna hatch those 10 eggs I have and see if we can get some baby chickens from that. So let's get some fodder. Um, don't need that. Yeah, I, oh my God, fodder is really great. I'm not even gonna replant that. Um, because it lets you just duplicate the hell out of your pets. Or not pets, your farm animals. And, um, I love it! So, let's try to make some more. Is this gonna be enough? I don't even know. We're gonna have to see what we can make. I'm gonna throw away these seeds because I don't really need those. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna go to the Feywild today. We're gonna try to find the winter biome. And then I want to do some quests for Icy. So, I still need to work on the village. There is so much that I need to do, guys. I really got to get on with, like, the building stuff. I really got to start building more again because I feel like it just took way too much time off <laughs> with my builds. And I really got to start working on the village again. So, I'm going to try to do that maybe next episode. Today, I still want to kind of continue some of the, um, the Feywild stuff that we have to do. So, let me put this stuff away. Oh my god, my inventory is so full. Oh wait, this goes in the feed bag. There we go. And I'm gonna put the Feywild orb away. We need a lot more arrows. Oh my gosh, we're already like running out. God dang it. I could always duplicate them, but it's, it's a little bit cheaty. Cheat, cheat, see. <laughs> okay, so let's make some fodder. Six should definitely be enough for these chickens, considering how small of a place this is. We're gonna have to put them in a way so that they don't escape so that should be good is this gonna work are you guys gonna actually eat this i don't think they're interested in it guys come on don't be like this okay you know what <gasps> oh no wait hold on oh my god are you serious no it doesn't even work with silk touch what? That's ridiculous. I don't think the chickens are going to eat it. No! Freaking chickens. Well, this sucks. I just wasted all of my fodder. Well, at least we can hatch some eggs. There we go. We got actually quite a few chickens from that. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I guess it's kind of a fail. <laughs> Whatever. Didn't even want any chickens anyway. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I guess I could hatch some more eggs. We're gonna have to probably just invest some of these eggs into chickens. Oh, sorry, sorry, little guy. Cause I really need, I really need more chickens. So they can't escape, can they? I feel like I just lost. A oh my gosh, that chicken just died. Oh, oh, they're eating it. Oh, thank goodness. So that means, okay, it didn't go to waste, but then I, oh, look how cute. Oh, oh, that means I just wasted two whole blocks. Dang it. What a freaking fail. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Lesson learned. Okay, let's go get some stew. Thank you, Chanterelle. Alright. Oh, we got a lot of clovers. I need to put Mandragora down. You know what, Mandragora? You can hang out with Chanterelle. I need you to stop duplicating stuff because it's getting quite Alright, so let's go check on Icy now that we have our stuff. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna actually... <laughs> I need to clear out my inventory a little bit. I'm definitely not gonna 
organize the entire thing right now, but we really gotta put some stuff away. Including these brewing stands that I got from the freaking dungeon that I got myself killed in like so many times. That was insane. That was horrible. When I was rewatching the footage, I actually noticed that he didn't technically one shot me, but it was still pretty BS. Oh, hi, Luna. I, I totally forgot you were here. Let me go pick her up so Yuna and Luna can come with me. Um, yeah, I think it was still pretty BS how much damage he did to me, considering I had armor on and everything. But it wasn't technically a one-shot, so I did get that wrong. But my health got obliterated so fast that it doesn't even matter. To me, it felt like a one-shot because of how fast everything happened. Um, so I was pretty upset about that, but whatever. I mean, it's fine. Luckily, we didn't lose any of our stuff because I, I'm so happy that I installed the freaking um, gravestone mod. Holy crap. If I didn't, that would have been so bad. Especially because my stuff was right next to a block of TNT. And if something were to happen, mm -mm. I don't even know what I would do, guys, if I lost all my stuff. Because it's not like I'm, I would just be losing like enchanted diamond tools, which is already a really big blow. I would be losing my spell book, my enchanter's bow, my reaper scythe, like all of my really cool, my broom, like all of my really good rare loot and items. I would have lost it all. Oh my god, I would have been so mad. Anyway, let's see. We're gonna continue the quest line so we can try to get some fairy wings. All right, let's see what Icy has to say. Oh, T 12 ender eyes. Well, damn. Okay, I guess this is where things are gonna get harder. I did expect that the quest line would be difficult. 12 ender eyes. Okay, what is the best way for us to do this? We can go to the end and just farm endermen. I guess that would be the easiest way to do it since we already went to the end. Um... Yeah, let's just do that. We can just make like a little platform so they can't hit us and we should be good. So actually, I'm gonna- before we do that, I really want to get rid of this tree. I'm like slowly starting to get rid of all of the Feywild trees in my little area here. I'll keep the winter ones because, you know, they're for Icy. It's kind of, you know, her offering, um, or my offering to her. So I'll keep the winter trees, but I really want to get rid of all of these. And we need to get rid of that, <laughs> that floating monstrosity. So don't worry, guys. I'm going to fix that really quick because I'm sure it's bothering some of you. The floating trees are not cool. I just hate how... Why does this have to be so inconvenient? Why can't you just come down in one piece? I don't get it. I don't understand. Come on. Just get away. Freaking trees. Okay, this one doesn't even have any logs. What the heck? What the heck? This is ridiculous. Okay, you know what? That should be good enough, right? These should decay. There's no wood here, right? Am I stupid? No. This tree is stupid. Oh my god, Luna. Okay, luckily the cats don't take fall damage, so it's fine. Oh! <gasps> oh, shoot! I just let my axe break. Oh my god, crap. <laughs> um... I did not even notice that it was about to break. Did it have a good enchant? I can't even remember. Probably nothing crazy. It's not a big deal. Oh, but that sucks. Now we're gonna have to waste three more freaking diamonds. Dang it. <sighs> what a freaking... Why am I such a fail today? Why am I such a fail? Okay, you know what? We're just gonna make an iron one. I am just going to cheap out. Make an iron axe. Just for now, because you know what? I only have... 11 diamonds, I think. We're still pretty low on diamonds. I did go mining, but I did not get that lucky with my diamonds, which sucks. Oh, man. I wish I got more diamonds, but you know what? It's fine. Maybe we'll find some in loot. Hmm. You know what we can do? When we go to the end, we can check around the area for some more of those inventory pet uh, clouds. And maybe we'll get some diamonds there. I don't know. Well, probably some nether stars, because apparently those are quite common, which is super weird. Um, but yeah. I, what do you guys think about this, this like, texture? Like, these are actually quite noticeably different. I, I like it, though. What do you guys think? Do you like the 16x16 16 16 texture, or do you prefer the default 32x32? 32 32? 
crap. Okay. Um, yeah, I... Oh, oh god. <laughs> Dang it, now my broom is... Okay, you know what? You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Here is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, for once that actually works. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um... You know what? I'll, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I, I got a comment, um, and this was actually from a member. So, first of all, thank you so much for becoming a member. I wish I remembered your- n I think it was Rod in Peace. So thank you Rod in Peace for the comment. Um, but they said, um, that they remember me saying in an earlier video or earlier episode- Oh crap, sorry, I forgot how to fly down. <laughs> that I was like running out of ideas for my fairy core world or something. And apparently I said that. I don't remember saying that because it's not true. I I feel like I have so many things left to do in this world. So maybe I did say that and I just completely forgot and maybe I, you know, was um, meaning something else. I, I don't really remember exactly, but I just wanted to, to um, re... what's the word? Re... What is the word? Um, to clear things up, I guess? To, um, okay, I, I'm totally, totally forgetting the word here, guys. But I just wanted to, re oh, reassure. There's the word. I wanted to reassure you guys that I definitely don't feel like I'm running out of ideas. I'm not, like, at the point right now where I'm like, oh, should I end the series or something? I really hope none of you guys are worried about that, that I'm gonna end the series or anything, because I'm definitely not going to, and I have no plans on ending the Fairy Core series anytime soon. Obviously, it's not gonna last forever. I don't think that's, you know, a realistic thing to, um... Why are these not breaking? I... <sighs> freaking... Bay wild trees! I hate these things. Okay, anyway. I I don't want any of you guys to worry that I'm gonna end the series anytime soon. Um, and there's still so much that I want to do. There's still so many things that I have ideas for that I want to- oh my god. That I want to build, that I want to do, all the dimensions we have to go to. That's kind of like- <clears throat> The dimensions are basically my own fairy, fairy core mod pack progression system. So, you know how in Minecraft you have the progression system of like going to the end, then killing the wither, and then you might do the guardians, uh, the sea monument. That's kind of like the default progression system. My progression system for my fairy core world is to go to all the dimensions and explore all the mods. And, um, you know, do some boss fights and stuff like that. There's so much to do, you know what I mean? So I don't see myself ending the series anytime soon. I just wanted to reassure that to you guys because I know that it has, you know, a lot of you guys really love this series and are looking forward to every single new episode, every single week. <laughs> Which makes me so happy because I, I did mention in the past that I know that, you know, this series doesn't get as many views as like my other stuff like compared to my mermaid series and um yeah i mean it's not like the most um it, it's been so long already since my first episode that it doesn't perform all that well hi Marquita. it still does pretty okay but to me it doesn't really matter because the most important thing is to just you know have fun and as long as people are enjoying the series I will still continue it as long as I'm enjoying the series like you know it's a mutual thing it's it's a symbiotic sort of um, coexistence where we both have to be enjoying the series and I'm still enjoying it it seems like you guys are still enjoying it so I have absolutely no reason to end it anytime soon um, you know I will just oh oh did I break oh uh, I think that was part of okay I know where that came from anyway I think we all know that at some point um, in the future you know I will have to end the series. Nothing can last forever. That's completely just kind of part of, you know, life and Minecraft series as well. Even the most beloved series end at some point. I'm sure we all can think of, you know, like uh, Minecraft Oasis. <laughs> that was such a long series. Holy crap. Um, but even that eventually had to end in all the most beloved Minecraft series and, you know, beloved TV shows and animes and books. Everything eventually ends. But... I will, you know, continue it as long as possible. 
for you guys to enjoy, so don't worry. And yeah, I honestly don't know where that exactly came from. I'm, um, I'm not saying like the um, I'm not saying like the commenter was lying or anything. Um, maybe I did say that that I was running out of ideas or something, but um, I feel like I, I don't even know. I'm not gonna say I did or didn't. It doesn't really matter. What I'm going to say now is just to clarify and make an amendment to that statement. Um, why are these not- oh my god, this is gonna bother me so much. This is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just gonna have to snipe these freaking leaves. <sighs> Shoot, man. Why you gotta do this to me? Why? Freaking very wild trees, man. Anyway, so lastly, this member, um, they- they gave me an idea. They re they requested for me to, um, or suggested. They suggested for me to- um, hatch a dragon egg and make a castle for them. Oh, look, some bees! Which I thought was such a cool idea! I- so, we do have the Mythic Mounts mod? Is that what it's called? I totally forgot. But basically, the mod that lets you- I think it's supposed to let you hatch your dragon egg, but I don't- I don't know if it's working properly, <laughs> so I don't really know. Um, but we're gonna have to look into that at some point because yeah, I definitely want to do that. There are dragons in this mod pack that I just don't really know how to access, so I'm gonna have to look into it. Um, but something tells me that that mod is not particularly working as it should be. Um, maybe I'm just stupid and using it wrong. I really gotta stop saying that, I gotta stop calling myself stupid. I don't mean it. I don't mean it, guys. I'm so fascinated by this butterfly. Sorry. Anyway, I wanted to come here to just release my apple fly. This is my Feywild apple fly. So pretty! Don't escape. Yeah, you turn around, buddy. Okay. Let's go. Um, oh yeah, we have to go to the end. And then we have to go to the Fey- Okay, we have quite a few things to do today. So let's go to the end first just to get that out of the way. I'm gonna see if I can try to do that quest. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to thank you guys um, for watching this series so far into it. I mean, I guess, you know, <laughs> in the long, in the grand scheme of things, episode 30 something something is not like that many episodes. <laughs> but, you know, considering how long they are, I guess that's kind of what makes it feel so, so long. Um, so yeah, I just really wanted to thank you guys for sticking around for this series for so long. And, you know, I, I really, I just, Ah, I just love spending time with you guys. So awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be continuing this series. So not to worry. Oh crap! I did not mean to look at you, sir. Just wanted to, you know, say thank you. Oh my god. For sticking around. And there will definitely be more to come. There will definitely be a lot of more adventures that we're gonna get into, which is awesome! It's gonna be super fun and exciting, and I'm really excited to visit all the dimensions and stuff. Um, we still had to go to the Aether, and we still had to go to the other- or- yeah, is it called the other world? Or other- another? Th another wor I don't- whatever. We're gonna go to that one. Which I think has some sort of dragon species in it or something. I don't even I don't even know. So yeah, still still plenty of things to do. And I think there's more dimensions that I might be forgetting. But anyway, let's go try to kill some Endermen. I'm actually gonna turn down my hostile creature sounds because holy crap, those Endermen are super loud. Let's go get a bunch of these guys to aggro. Let's look at all of them. Yeah, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, all of you. All of you come here. That one doesn't react. Okay, let's try to kill these guys. Oh, crap. I'm gonna get my spellbook candy just in case. Actually, I'm gonna hold it in my offhand. We can't kill Endermen with our bow, unfortunately. Um, so we're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. But we have, uh, we have looting three, which is awesome. So this shouldn't be too hard. I just hope I have enough blaze rods for this. Um... So we're gonna need, I think, six. Six blaze rods for twelve pearls. Uh, twelve eye of enders. So, we'll have to see. If not, then we might have to go to the nether. 
Okay, we have enough pearls. That was freaking easy. Oh, God. What the heck is that? Are those hostile? I totally forget. Are you hostile? I feel like you are. Oh, I don't think she was. I think I just hit her by accident. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, she's doing damage on me. Can I hit you with my bow? Oh, nope. Of course not. Why did I even try that? She's an undergirl. She doesn't take any knockback, which is weird. Um, okay. Before we go, I wanted to check out some of the, the little islands. So let's see if we can get anything good. I wonder how you would have to access these if you were just playing with the inventory pets on vanilla Minecraft. Like, how would you even get up here? Oh, you know what? With, with an elytra, duh. I forget those exist. If you guys didn't know, I actually never use elytras, even in, like, my... Oh, sheep pet. I'm just gonna take these. Even in my, um, single player world that I have an elytra... I have two elytras. And I never use them because I feel like, you know, elytras kind of ruin the sense of transportation in Minecraft. And I prefer to use horses and I have like a mule that I like to travel with. Ooh, amethyst. Ooh, I totally forgot about that sort feature. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to use that. Um, but yeah, I, I prefer to use um, just kind of the more old school ways of transportation in Minecraft. Um, I do use the elytra sometimes when when I need to go from like a really far distance and kind of just like generate new chunks or something but other than that never really use it I actually in my whoa whoa that's a dungeon oh my god what is this anyway hold on let's go up here first um, so yeah, I actually, in my beta let's play, for um, my members exclusive beta let's play, I've been wanting to build a railroad, like a railway system for so long. I've never really built one before, or I, I haven't in- ooh, pick step. Ooh! Oh, that's cool. I haven't used, um, a railway in so long. I've definitely built them in the past, but it's just been so long, I can't even remember, you know what I mean? So I really want to build one of those, even though it's like so kind of, you know, pointless these days, especially in like modern Minecraft. I just think they're freaking awesome. And you know what? In beta Minecraft, you actually have more of a reason to do it. So I definitely want to try it out. What is this place? I'm scared. Myolite. This is a cool purple block though. Hey, we could totally use this for builds. This looks like an egg. What is this thing? I'm kind of scared. Is there something inside here? What is this mysterious structure? What is this? Okay, I don't really know what um what this thing is. I feel like it should be hollow, but I don't know. Maybe there is something inside there. I don't really know. But what I'm more curious about is this freaking dungeon. Holy crap. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to look at you. Come on, man. I wasn't even looking at your- Oh my god! There's two of them! Why? Why is there two? Wait, can I actually go in here? Oh my god. Aha! Can't get me in here, can ya? No, you can't. No, you can't, you idiot. That's what you get for being so tall. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to tall people. <laughs> okay, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't even care to go inside that egg. Because I'm so curious about what, what this structure is. Okay, let's clear some inventory space and check it out. Check it out. What is this? This is definitely a dungeon. I should be terrified. Why are there phantoms? Oh, three little birds. Find an aviary. Oh, God. Okay, I think there's phantoms after me, but I need to see this. Whoa! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! They're freaking biting me! Whoa! Whoa! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you see that? That is a huge freaking phantom! Oh my gosh, she just died. What the heck? Why were you so big? What the hell? Okay, we gotta get out of here. I- I don't want them to break my- You know what? This is so dangerous. I can't let them break my freaking- 
my broom and then fall into the void. That'd be so bad. But dude, this looks freaking awesome. What? This is insane. Look at all the glowstone. Oh my god. Whoa. This is so cool. That would make such a cool end base. Imagine you like clear the dungeon and then you get to live in there. Holy. What is this? Bro, this stuff is wild. I think this is from Quark. Yeah, my light crystal. Whoa. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. How do they glow like that? That is awesome. Freaking awesome. Why does this have like a trail? What? The end is fascinating. I don't even like have better end installed or anything. I totally would, but it doesn't work on this version. It's not for Forge. Which kind of sucks, because I think that's actually a really cool mod. Um, okay, let's go take a few of these. There's a lot of them here, but I don't want to stick around here for too long. I kind of want to go back to the safety of the overworld. Um, okay, I think we already- no, I don't think we have a blaze pet in this playthrough. Let's go to this last one over here. And I'm actually- <laughs> I I'm going to I'm going to leave my my spawn point on top of this place because I think that'll be super cool. Oh, we got a chest pet. Does that mean more inventory space? Okay, you know what? I actually am not going to do that because I don't want my broom to accidentally fall and then I lose it. That would be bad. Oh, look, that's a new thing, I think. I don't, I don't think I've been here before. Let's go check it out really quick. Let's see if there's a dragon head. That'll be the t telltale sign of a love star visit. Oh, look, there's still one here. Well, I already have one, so I'm not going to take it, but check this out. <gasps> Wait, does that mean we can actually... Hold on, I want to see what's in here. Oh my god. <laughs> it was just slid off the freaking thing. Okay, we got some potion of healing. And the elytra, of course. I'll take it. I'm not going to use it, though, because we have a broom. Ooh! <gasps> what? We need this. That is so good for our chickens. Night vision. Whoa. Oh, that is so awesome. Ooh. Diamond knife. Oh, oh, look. Oh, wait, no, I thought that was an axe. Dang it, it's a pickaxe. Uh, let's take the wilden horns, the iron ingots. Oh, we have some. Okay, hold on. I need to put this stuff away. Let me actually put all these nuggets in my feed chest. Feed bag. Feedback. Feedback. Leave some feedback. Anyway, let's put this stuff away. I'm gonna take the augment arrows. Yes, we need arrows. Good. Ooh, diamond sword. Mending. <gasps> we can combine our sword and add mending to it. Jump boost three. Holy. Oh, curse of vanishing. We don't want that. Stasis. You know what? I don't know what stasis does. Oh my god, the jump boost. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm literally a bunny. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So this is an unlooted, um, unlooted thing. I, I kind of want to loot it. Let's see if there's any like little cheatsy chests we can grab really quick. Oh yes, over here. Ah, let's see. Oh my god, the whale. The whale is moaning. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh. Okay, some gold. Nothing special. Uh, okay, we actually need to... Oh, frick. This is bad. We need to go down. Water is your best friend. In the... In the end. That rhymes. Water is your best friend. In the end. Alright, let's go on our broom! No! Okay. On the broom. Oh my god, get me out of here. Okay, we're leaving. I don't want to deal with shulkers. I forgot how miserable they are. Let's just stop here on next to the thing in case we want to come back. We can return. All right, let's go back. Yay! Okay, so now we have freaking um, night vision, which is awesome. Dude, these cards are actually so cool. Ah, <gasps> uh, Yuna, wait, does that mean Yuna wants to breed? Wait, where is Luna? 
Yuna just went into love mode. Oh my god, wait, what happens if I- Um, where's Yuna? Yuna? <gasps> They're purring! Oh, So sweet. Okay, wait. You guys aren't gonna make babies, are you? Okay, no. I don't think they are. I wonder if that'll just happen. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone's getting love. Everyone's getting love right now. That's kind of weird. Anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is insane. We're making a bunch of chicken babies. Hooray. We need this. We need this. Okay, so I'm gonna actually- let's kill some of them. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is insane. I might take this jump, jump boost off. Well, it's good for the fence jump, but um, yeah, I probably should just- I'm literally just making everyone go into love mode. Probably not a good idea. Okay, let's put our cards away. I should probably have a place for them in the fairy grove where all the magic stuff is, but for now, uh, let's put them- I don't know, I need to make a new place for it. Do I already have a place for my cards that I don't remember? Because I feel like that was a common occurrence <laughs> where I just constantly forget that I already had like a place for something. Anyway, so let's put away the night vision. The empress is really good. Um, we're gonna keep that, obviously. So we can use the empress for when we want to breed those chickens. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna keep the card in my broom. There we go. We probably shouldn't be carrying around blood. <laughs> um, that's a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But let's just put this stuff away. Alright, so let's make those ender eyes. <gasps> we have six! What do you freaking know? This is gonna be perfect. Okay, wait. So, let me put my end pet away. My ender portal. End portal. And my elytra, which I will just put in here. That's an egg. <laughs> We'll put that there, and we also need to combine our sword with mending, which is going to be awesome. Where is my... Do I have an anvil? Where's my anvil? Oh, it's right here. Oh my god. <laughs> totally forgot. Okay, there we go. We have like a god sword now. Freaking awesome. Okay, so let's go make this all into... Oh, what the heck? Let's go make this all into blaze powder and Ivenda yes the fate are satisfied hooray okay before we return this to icy I'm gonna just go ahead and sleep so we can not get attacked by vicious monsters because that would be bad yay okay what do we get rabbit hide thank you all right let's put the feathers away and visit icy Ooh, this is gonna be so exciting oh my gosh you know what, I'm just gonna go on my broom. Speed things up a little bit. So, um, if you guys didn't watch my um, Q&A that I did on my art channel, I recently just posted a little art and chat video. It's a new series that I'm starting called um, Love Stars Art Diary. And I actually, I actually got a question um, from someone who asked when Marquita and I are getting married. So I'm gonna answer that in a second, but let's see what Icy has to say. Well, that's 12. The pixie rests on your head, her arms and legs dangling on the side. You're my final resting place, mortal. Let's look for a place to have our last meal. What? My treat. Girl, what are you talking about? Is she gonna die? Wait, what? Your destiny awaits. You will face the end and your soul will be forever ours. But do not worry, I'll be your friend either way. I've grown f quite fond of you, mortal. Ready to meet your demise? I'll be collecting your soul when it's time. See you on the other side. Oh, you will die. I bet my name on it, mortal. It's your destiny. What? I already killed him! Girl. Are you serious? We have to kill the ender dragon again? No way, I don't want to do that. <sighs> you suck. I already killed him. No. <laughs> I see, what the hell? Oh my god. The thing is, I just don't enjoy doing that. <sighs> Great. I don't want to do that today. <laughs> 
I am not mentally or physically prepared. I mean, I probably can kill him, but I just don't want to. I'm not prepared to do this. Dang it. Oh. Okay. Well, anyway. I need to take those freaking leaves down. But anyway, I wanted to just mention that some of you, uh, one of you guys asked when Marquita and I are getting married. And I, I already answered the question, of course, in the video. But I just wanted to tell you that I will marry her after we work on the village some more. And also build our house. Because Marquita and I, we need a nice big family house for when we start a family. So we're going to have to do that. And I... I was planning on doing some more quests, but I guess now we have to <laughs> go to the end and kill the ender dragon again. So I guess we'll do that next episode. Just kind of get it over with. I don't want to make it a whole spectacle again because we already had the end fight in a whole episode. So I'm probably just going to kind of skim through it for you guys because I don't really think many of you would want to see that again. If you do, you can rewatch the end episode, but yeah, I'm just not really that excited for it. So we'll do that next episode and I'll just get it out of the way right then and there. Um, hopefully we won't die, but I'm sure we'll be fine, um, especially now that we have definitely better like loot and stuff. But yeah, so before we end things for today, we obviously need to go back to the Feywild and get some crocuses. That is my goal, <laughs> so hopefully... We'll find some because I think that's basically the last thing I can really do in the Feywild because I didn't really see anything else. Again, if you guys know if I'm missing something, please let me know because I'm honestly a little bit confused. But my assumption is that I just, you know, the mod isn't fully updated uh, or developed. But anyway, let's go to the Feywild after I put some stuff- Oh, we need some food, by the way. Yeah, definitely. So let's go take one of these. And some bowls, and we're gonna just eat some stuffed pumpkin, which sounds so good. Okay, I don't know if that's gonna be enough, so we're just gonna take some bread, just in case. And we'll put the eggs away, put the chicken away, um, and let's go. Let's go back to the Feywild. I'm going to summon it. I'm gonna summon myself there in the fairy circle, of course. Just because I feel like that should be, you know, kind of the uh, tradition, I guess. But yeah, anyway, so you know what? I'm going to share with you guys a little secret. So speaking of the end fight, killing the Ender Dragon, um, we all know that I actually did that in an earlier episode. I don't even remember what episode it was. But I dedicated an entire episode to the end battle and a boss fight. And we killed him, and <laughs> it went well, presumably. Where is Yuna? I wanted to sit her down, but she's not here. What the heck? Okay, anyway, let's just go. So it went well, presumably. However, <laughs> on my side of things, behind the scenes, it did not go as planned. Um, so I'm just going to share with you guys this little secret that I was eventually planning on revealing maybe in like a future video or something but I think we'll just sh we'll just slip it in here for all of you who are watching still so you'll be in on our little secret so basically what happened was I killed the ender dragon and it went fine like I was able to do it but I didn't realize until after that my recording paused like halfway through the fight. So I didn't get to record it, basically. Ugh. And I was so, so pissed because that never freaking happens. This was like the first time it's in like Fairy Core Let's Play history where my freaking recording paused in the middle of such an important moment. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I was so mad. Because I didn't know what to do at that point. I didn't know if I, was, if I, if I should have been like, um, well, guys, so uh, you see here, <laughs> bad news. Because that would have been just so lame. So 
ultimately what I decided to do was um, resummon the Ender Dragon and kill him again and kind of try to make it like a, a seamless um, transition from the- Oh! Oh look! There's another village here! Fr uh, I wanted to make it like a seamless transition from the first fight to the second one. So then none of you guys would notice, because the thing is, it's not that I wanted to lie and be like, yeah, I did it on the first try. I I mostly just wanted it to be like a fun, epic battle for you guys so that you can get... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... <laughs> you know what? I... <laughs> Oh, oh shoot, this is a hostile village. This is not a village at all. This is a freaking hostile place. We're leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. Anyway, so yeah, I didn't want to like deceive you guys. That was not my intention. It was mostly just to create, you know, a fun viewing experience for the end bite. The <laughs> end bite. The end fight. And it just didn't, <laughs> it didn't work out because you know what happened? I don't- okay, so to be fair, this was already a really long time ago. I don't remember exactly what caused the second issue, but what happened- Oh, oh, I think that's the winter biome. I think what happened was either I, like, the recording got messed up or something- Like, something happened again to the freaking recording. So I killed him again, and it also got messed up somehow. So I had to do it a third time. What the freak? So I had to kill the Ender Dragon three times and then piece all those clips together. Oh, that's a pink one. Whoa. To try to make it look like it was just one fight. And it was really difficult to do that because um, if you- oh, look, this is a crocus! Wow! Purple! Pretty! Okay, awesome. Yee! I'm excited! Okay. So, if you guys go back and watch that episode again, you will probably notice that there is some, like, minor inconsistencies in, I think, my experience bar. Maybe, like, my inventory is a little bit rearranged or something like that. Because I was drinking potions, and there's definitely like a few mismatches in the footage. So if you go back and watch it, you'll definitely notice that now, knowing that you have like to look out for it, of course. Hopefully no one else, you know, really noticed or paid much attention to that. Because I didn't mention it, and I don't want people to think that I was like cheating or anything, that I like died and then like just wanted to cut it out because that's not really what happened. I just, yeah, I tried to make it like smooth for you guys and it just totally backfired. But anyway, I don't know why it's so laggy here. What the heck? Why is it so laggy? That is weird. I don't like that. Uh... Is there anything, like, weird going on here? I don't know why it's so laggy here. That is super weird. Maybe there's some sort of generation here that's causing lag. But yeah, anyway, I think we can go back already. I don't really need much else from here. Um, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. Just so it's out there. Because I'm sure eventually, someday, someone's gonna be like, Um, there's a few inconsistencies that I would like to point out. And I'm going to accuse you of cheating. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm obviously being dramatic. It's not that big of a deal. Whoa, what the heck is this lag? Okay, anyway. You know what? Let's just leave. I, I think we're done here. And I don't want to be out here in the nighttime. But yeah, so I just wanted to clear that up. Um... That's what happened. That's the truth behind my end battle. Oh crap, I forgot we're gonna be in like a completely different location. Um, so yeah, I did kill him and I did it legit first try. Ugh, I just freaking failed. The recording failed. So I had to redo it and that really sucked. Um, so yeah. And um, that's kind of why I'm really not looking forward to killing him again, because I technically- or not him, her, Jane the dragon. 
I technically already killed the dragon three times, so I'm just so sick of it. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh my gosh, freaking icy. Why are you doing this to me? It's not, a, it's not even that big of a deal, but I just wanted to tell you guys. Um, it's a little secret that I wanted to come forth, forward about. And you know what? I was actually um, originally going to... Um, mentioned this i think in like a stream or something a little bit um closer to when that actually happened i ended up not doing that just because i didn't want to kind of like ruin the magic for you guys i guess it's probably not even that big of a deal i'm sure that like most of you would not even give a flying freak um because I know that, like, most of you guys are completely, like, understanding and chill with me. Even when I do cheat, like, sometimes I do, like, go into creative and, like, do a little little tiny tweak or something in creative. Or do a, do a command. So, what? Is that an octopus? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Get away. Get away from my village. You freaking loser. Anyway. So, yeah, I know that, like, you guys are chill and you probably wouldn't even mind. But, meh, I just didn't want to share it so that it wouldn't kind of, like, ruin the episode for anyone. But, yeah, just wanted to, to tell you guys um, the little story, the little secret, <laughs> which I've been keeping for so long. Feels like some sort of crime that I committed now, but, yeah, anyway, I don't know why. It feels like my game is kind of lagging, and I don't know why. Um, I think it's better now, but the Feywild was totally lagging my game, so that's kind of weird. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I know it was a little bit shorter. I was planning on doing more quests, but I just wasn't expecting Icy to tell us to freaking kill the Ender Dragon again. And considering that I'm kind of lagging a little bit, I don't know why. I think I should just end it here before... Maybe my computer explodes. I'm just kidding. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And please stay tuned for next episode because we're actually going to be doing some more building. Which I'm super excited about because I really want to get back into building and working on the village. So we can marry Marquita. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you all next time. Bye. And of course, I want to give a big thank you to all of my wonderful channel members for supporting my content and helping the channel grow.